me see you, bro. <laughs> this fucking ass boy dying, bro. <laughs> you alright, bro? Tell him how you feel, man. Huh? You alright? Bro, you alright? You want me to go get the police? Mm -mm. Huh? Yeah. What have you done, this bitch? You ain't gonna do nothing about it. I don't want you dying in here on me, though, baby. You dead? How you breathing? You alright? You breathing alright? Mm -hmm. Hi, my friends. This is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that's a little bit different from my usual content. I was sent a video that was filmed on a cell phone inside of a prison by a man who's locked in a cell with two or three other men who are currently victims of this pandemic that's going on right now. I felt obligated to share it with you guys. I just wanna give you a warning if you have small children around or if you're easily offended by swear words, then this is not the video for you. I can't edit out the, all of the bad words because you won't be able to understand it. A lot of inmates speak a certain way and it's just how they talk on the inside. It's just prison vernacular. So I cannot edit it out or you will not be able to understand anything this man is saying and it's extremely important. Also, if you are offended because there's bars on either side of the video, yes, people have told me that they're offended by that before. This video was filmed up and down on a cell phone on Facebook Live from a prison cell. So if you can't get past the fact that there's two black bars on the side of the screen, then again, this is not the video for you. But it's so heartbreaking. And when I was sent this video, I actually cried at one point because it seemed like one of the men who is in there suffering from this was literally had minutes left to live. And it's not gory or anything like that, but it's just the reality of why we're so fearful for our loved ones on the inside right now. Why we're so passionate about legislators passing these bills and helping, actually, I think it was passed. Once law is passed, unfortunately, I've learned recently, it's really hard to get them to actually implement those laws or it takes a really long time. Well, right now we don't have time. We are in the middle of a crisis in our world and inside of prisons. And I was asking one of my friends the other day, why are they treating you like this? It almost feels as if they don't care or they almost want it to come in there. Now, I don't think they do. Later this week, I'm gonna post a video about what I've heard that uh, correctional officers and staff has been doing before they even go into prison, when they go in, what they're doing, if the inmates have to move around the prisons. And I am so grateful that they're taking these measures. But in the moment when I was talking to that friend, it's not Adam, he said, because we're second class citizens, they don't care if we live or die. They never did. And a lot of them won't ever. And it just breaks my heart, but I don't wanna get lost in a tangent. I want you to listen because you could hear how bad these inmates were struggling to breathe. You can see a lot of what's going on in there. And you can also understand the fear that is in this man's voice as he's speaking. Oh. And it's kind of also interesting for you guys to see what it's like inside of prison when you have a cell phone, how you have to always watch out for the police, as they call it, which is correctional officers or staff. Please do me a quick favor before this video starts. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell so I can keep you guys up to date if I hear more, when I hear more. I would love to hear an update from this guy specifically because as of now, he's saying that he's kind of experiencing symptoms of this, but he doesn't know if it's in his head, he doesn't know if it's anxiety, but he can't taste, he can't smell, it's starting to get hard to breathe. When you're living in that close quarters with people who are struggling with this, all he has is this mask that's kind of loose fitting, he keeps moving it, he keeps checking on his friends, which is so sweet of him, but he's touching their blankets, he's making sure he's getting kind of in their face. They're both wearing masks, which is definitely helpful, but he's not really washing his hands in between. And if you're taking off your mask to speak, you're not six feet apart in a cell, you're just not. It's not that big, there's not that much space. So please send thoughts and prayers to not only this person, 
to the people in the cell with him, on the unit with him, but also anybody who's incarcerated. And if you find it in your heart, share this video, share it with people. That's why I'm putting this on my channel. Although the language is a little bit strong for prison wives and family members or people that support us, I think you can handle it. But that's why I'm putting it on this channel because it needs to be shared. It needs to be seen. These are people too. These lives deserve to be saved. They at least deserve a fighting chance without wasting any more time. Here's the video. If you have kids around or you're in public, which you should not be, socially distancing, hashtag stay at home. Put on some headphones. Shit. You know, uh, I don't even know how to start this shit, but shit was all good like a couple days ago, right? So, uh, all of a sudden, out of the blue, fucking everybody just fucking dying and getting sick and shit. Like, this shit serious as fuck. Like, they literally leaving us in here to die. Like, you know, it's probably like three dudes I know already and shit. You feel me? Uh, motherfucking, they took out this bitch dead that I literally knew and shit. The rest of these motherfuckers just sick as hell, you know? They talking about social distancing and shit. You feel me? It can't even social distance or nothing. Cause like, nigga, like look at this shit. Hold on. This motherfucker over here. They talking about stay six feet from motherfuckers and shit. And look at this shit. This motherfucker over here. This motherfucker over here dying from Corona. They got this motherfucker in my room and shit. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck I'm supposed to live? You know what I'm saying? Then they told me to stay six feet. Then they gave us these motherfucking masks and literally like said good luck. You feel me? Now right now I ain't got that shit. You feel me? But you know I got a motherfucking little light ass drug sense. You feel me? Now they trying to kill in this bitch for real. You know? Then today there's one motherfucker I know. Hey yeah, shit. This nigga dead. You feel me? They just took this n***a out. They literally leaving us in this bitch to catch this shit. Like, I ain't even got this shit. You feel me? But I don't know how long that shit gonna be. Because I think I'm like, got some of the symptoms and shit. They talking about you can't uh, smell shit and taste shit. You, you probably got that shit. So it's like today, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm tripping or what, but I for sure can't taste shit. You feel me? And shit, this shit, paranoid. You know, so I don't know what to do. I, I just hit this bitch. I was like, fuck it, you know, try to keep this my, the phone situation low key, but like, this shit serious as fuck. Everybody in this bitch dying, and it's like, what the fuck y'all want me to do? I'm like, dying this bitch? So, shit, I need y'all to motherfucking whoever, you know, whoever you can get in contact with that can help me, and the rest of the motherfuckers who ain't sick, you feel me? do that shit like at motherfuckers i don't give a fuck because they literally they literally about to leave us in this bitch to die because we got felons and shit you know what i'm saying like y'all motherfuckers in social distance we can't social distance like look this motherfucking white boy on top of me you already know like i ain't racist or nothing but you know the white boy he died you know he got he came in this motherfucker and got this motherfucker sick and then it's like they got these motherfuckers ain't they not taking them out until they die you know like we saw two months well now it's three and then it's like a gang of motherfuckers they just took out this bitch you feel me and then they just hit us with these fucking masses but you know what i'm saying these motherfuckers literally croaking i'm about to show y'all some more shit where they taking the dead bodies they built a fucking like a tent and shit you feel me where they put the dead bodies at and we just in this bitch. I'm about to show y'all in a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna get the phone token on so y'all gotta just chill one second. Hold Look, they got my nigga done. This nigga was just fine as fuck. You feel me? He can't even breathe. I'm about to show y'all. Hey, I'm about to pull your cover up, Don. Show these motherfuckers. This motherfucker literally in this bitch done, bro. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, bro. This shit's serious as fuck, man. You know? Y'all gotta hit CNN. I don't give a fuck. 
You know, I ain't trying to die in this bitch. You feel me? I got a little under a year left. These niggas in here dying left and right. Right now, I'm clean. You feel me? I'm, I'm uh, what's that shit called? COVID negative right now. You did, but, you know, who knows how long this shit left. But I'm about to show y'all this tent shit real quick. This shit about to fuck y'all up. They literally taking dead by damn, damn, they don't think niggas got... Yeah, bro. They don't think motherfuckers got phones and shit in here, so, you know, I can show y'all this shit that's going on, how far these motherfuckers is, but you feel me? Because if I die, they gonna act like this shit, you know, just happened, but they literally like the motherfuckers who ain't sick. Like, look at this motherfucker breathing all hard and shit. This shit fucking crazy, like the, the motherfuckers who ain't sick, you know, like me, they just leaving us in this bitch. Then you get sick, then you go, and then they gonna tell your family, damn, I'm pulling off this bitch coughing. I mean, I ain't even coughing my bitch, but shit, I'm about to show y'all this tent shit, hold on. I gotta put y'all up one second, stay with me. Hold on. There's a big tent, y'all see on the basketball court, that tent right there? They literally putting the dead bodies in that motherfucker. That's what they do. You feel me? This shit not no game. Y'all think it's the plan is a tent in the middle of the basketball court. Hold on, I'm about to go back to the spot. My yo. That shit fucking crazy, bro. These is in here. Like literally laying the die, bro. Nah, they got this fucking law, it's called uh, the CARE Act, for niggas like me who not sick, right? So, uh, they like laughing, for real, you feel me? Because I went and talked to them, the CARE Act is for people who not in gang member, not a sexual offender, and not on death row. If you at risk of fucking catching this shit and dying, like three people I know already caught this shit and died, they can send you home on home confinement, right? So I went to talk to these motherfuckers to get on home confinement. They not gonna let us on home confinement. Why? Because they gotta make money off of us. Cause they not gonna make no money if we at home on home confinement. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in this bitch. You feel me? Now I don't know how long a nigga gonna make it. You feel me? This shit serious. So that's why I'm like, fuck it. They can find out I got the jack. Fuck it. I, you know, that's what we call the phone. They can find out I got the boy. I don't even give a fuck no more. Cause the nigga dying. So the nurse came in this bitch today i talked to this motherfucker this bitch tell me motherfucking be prepared you know half the unit about to die in this bitch like he literally told me that they put the tent up everything that's where they stacking dead bodies at this shit is not a game i ain't on no game plan shit none of this shit like you can see my face i'm dead out serious you know i got less than a year left i want to die in this bitch you feel me i don't mean to cuss enough so like whatever y'all motherfuckers gotta do do it Tell damn saying what up. Tell Valerie I said I'm trying to make it. Y'all might not see me again. I might catch this shit and die. So you know, you know, pray. Whatever y'all gotta do. Whatever whoever y'all pray to, pray. Whoever y'all can. Uh. Hold on, I'm about to make sure my butt is for me. Don't move. So whatever y'all gotta do, like, shit, this shit fucking serious as fuck, man. You know, I'm on my way out, man, nah, but this motherfucking nurse literally just told me that, like, motherfucking half this unit about to die and shit, you know what I'm saying? Then this one dude we came in here with, they just took this guy out on the stretcher, literally, you feel me? I ain't even on no bullshit. Nigga, and then you can't even breathe in here, bro. You feel me? You can't even breathe. Y'all saw the motherfucking tent they had, brought the bodies in and shit. Now they about to call all these motherfuckers people and act like, you know, it's nothing. I'm not sick. You can let me go on home good family. Then they got this other shit called compassionate release. The warden can let me out. But he ain't gonna let me out because he ain't gonna make no money. You know what I'm saying? This shit crazy as fuck. But, uh... Shit, fuck all this advice. I mean, I, I fuck with y'all, you feel me? But, uh, fuck all this advice. At CNN, whoever you fucking at, <laughs> you feel me? I ain't even on no plan, shit. Motherfucking, uh, Andrew Como, the dude on, uh, cause we can't social distance, bro. Look at this shit again. My man right here dying, bro. He don't wanna be on there, but shit. You know, he got that shit. You feel me? I shall have to be in this bitch like this. You feel me? Oh. 
I don't even know what to say. For real. I don't know what to say. This shit crazy as fuck. Who would have ever thought we probably would never even see each other again? That's crazy as fuck, right? Right now I'm straight though, but I ain't gonna lie, I got some of the symptoms though. I can't taste food, can't smell shit. And then, you know, everybody motherfucking, like they can't breathe and shit like that. So I was like, I don't know what to do, you feel me? So I'm on. I need y'all to help, man. You know, spread awareness of what's going on in the feds, man. They killing n****, bro. Straight up. Like, uh, one dude, his, his name motherfucking, uh, Woodrow Taylor. This motherfucker was on his way out of here, you feel me? About to go to the crib. He dead. You feel me? And they wouldn't let him go. They would not let the motherfucker go, man. So shit, this shit serious, man. You know, if I make it, man. Shit, this all for prison reform. Don't let no motherfucking body else die like this, man. You feel me? And shit, you know, I'm about to head out, man. Remember, spread this shit, share this shit, shit. So try to save one of these motherfuckers' life. If you don't fuck with me, try to save somebody else's life in here, cause this shit serious as fuck. So share this shit, you know what I'm saying? For real. You pray, pray, whatever you do. Do that shit, but share this shit and motherfucking, you know. We trying to get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, uh, if I don't make it, man, shit. Hit Yandy up off Love and Hip Hop. Tell her this for her. Tell her use this shit, you feel me? For the prison reform shit, that's what, you know? Because niggas don't have to die like this. Well, people. People shouldn't have to die like this, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know? That's me for real, you feel me? This ain't no joke, none of that shit. This is for real, this is me for real, you feel me? They out here dying, bro. Like, like, big dying. Like, they dying large numbers and shit. I'm just about to try to enjoy these little days I got, I got. You know, cause shit, how this shit going? Motherfucker, you know, might not make it. On some little honey shit. Hold on, let me see. I think the police coming. I'm gonna take the jack off. Huh? Oh, the police ain't here though, but shit, this shit, this shit is serious, bro. Alright, look at this. So y'all don't think a nigga playing or not? Let me see you, bro. <laughs> This motherfucking ass boy dying, bro. <laughs> like I said, I'm clean right now, man. But I got symptoms, though. This motherfucker full of blood. You alright, bro? <laughs> Tell him how you feel, man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you alright? <laughs> bro, you alright? <laughs> You want me to go get the police? Mm -mm. Huh? No. What have you done, this bitch? You ain't gonna do nothing about it. I don't want you dying in here on me, though, baby. You dead? How you breathing? You all right? You breathing all right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, this shit for real, bro. I ain't even playing. I can't. Not like Soraya just said, she think I should get away from him. I can't get away from him. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Like, you know what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers on this bitch dying. Like, literally. Three people died. AI, motherfucking Woodrow, and some other dude. You feel me? I'm like, fucked. Damn, you know? I don't know if it's like me or what. It's like I'm breathing all crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then they hit up with these little masks and shit, man. But shit, I don't know what the fuck to do on some and shit. I'm just trapped. And Loops, Sherry, Grandma, and Adrian and Harper. I love y'all. If y'all, if this shit, like you know. If some, if this shit go left, I love y'all. I swear to God, I do. Y'all the best thing that happened to me since cocoa butter. You my everything. But I'm in here, man. You know, that shit I can do. Probably eat in a minute. You know, gotta go wash my hands and stuff. Hold on. 
But yeah, no. I don't know what to do, man. Shit. Damn. Oh, let me tell y'all this shit. Let me tell y'all this shit. Oh, hold on. I'm about to show y'all something. You know, everybody in the unit got this shit. Probably itself like three or four of us, right? This is the this is what they gave us. This little uh, thing of soap to wash to stay clean, like wash our hands and shit. And this for every two weeks. Like literally, and then how they got everything set up is to protect the COs from from getting affected. You know? It's like no protection for the MLS. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no. It ain't no protection for the inmates. They don't care if you die or not. They literally let you die. And that's it. Like, shit. They gonna throw you in that tent on show job. Then they gonna be like, hit your parents telling you he called Corona and wanna know we could do about it. But it was something you could do about it. You got the CARE Act and you got the fucking uh, compassionate release. You feel me? I meet the criteria for all of that, by the way. You feel me? Why am I still here? Somebody need to answer that question. For real, for real. But, you know, if I don't make it, if this thing turn out love, you was my dog, LHJJ. You know who you is. For real, but, uh, so. Uh, what the do? So, I'm about to, uh, so. I'm about to get up out of here in a minute, man. I got disinfected, you know, that's all I can do for real, disinfect this shit, you know, but other than that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, they literally lying on top of the house, huh, what happened, huh, 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 that's one of the dudes I ain't got it either and shit. And he, he meet the criteria too, so why we in this bitch, you feel me? That's the, and that's my word, they got a law. Like, if you ain't got it, you can go home and home and confirm it. And you got to think, I got less than a year left. Why am I in this bitch? You feel me? But, you know, I let Stevie wonder, man, you know? Oh, I can't figure this shit out. You know? And then the, then they talking about half the unit supposed to die and shit. That's what the nurse said. He was like, be prepared. There's about to be a lot of down saying it. it ain't nothing we can do about it. Oh, man, that's so crazy. So look, like I'm telling y'all, share this shit, bro. To anybody. Say some, try to save my life. Shit. And the, the few of us that ain't got this shit life. For real, for real. Share this shit, motherfucking. Hit up whoever you can hit up. You know? Do me a solid. Cause I can get up, uh huh. They want the money on some bullshit, you feel me, though? On some bull, cause they can send me on home confinement. I can throw, I can pay to be on home confinement. That's not really a problem. I can pay for that, but you know, it's crazy, man. It's crazy they gonna let a nigga go. But yeah, I to get up out of here, man, you know. For the, for this shit, uh, you know. For this shit get tough or something, you know. I look. They might, they might try to put me in the hall or something for this shit. I don't know. But, but do what y'all gotta do, man. Spread awareness on what's going on to people in prison. Cause this shit's serious. Hey, Doja, on some 100. Like, do me that solid, bro. That's what they doing to niggas in prison, you feel me? Cause like at the end of the day, we only got drug trying. Like my man Don, I'm about to go back over there and show y'all Don. He, he on his deathbed. He on his deathbed on some 100 shit. Well, uh, uh, but shit, I'm about to get out of here because they come with the police coming, so I'm gone. But shit, do that. It's so heartbreaking. Again, please feel free to share. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up button because that'll help YouTube share out this video and you don't have to do anything but just click a button. Subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified with updates or anytime I post a new video. I generally post on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, we'll do some lives here and there in between. You guys keep staying strong. Keep loving strong. Keep supporting one another through this journey. 
because you're one day closer to this all being over. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. Lots of love from my heart to all of yours. I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one.